versus film. Hi, I'm Graham, and welcome back to Man vs. Film. This is going to be a movie review for The Shallows. It's directed by Guam Colette Sarah, who did Orphan, Run All Night, Non Stop, Unknown, you know, Liam Neeson, old man action movie type of thing. Um, and it stars Blake Lively and a big ass CGI shark. The basic plot is this girl who's mother recently died, goes on a soul searching trip, she ends up at this beach that her mother must have talked about at some point, there's pictures of her mum there, and she just goes out to surf and just enjoy the view, and a big shark attacks her, and she's stranded on a rock while the shark circles her, waiting for his next meal. I really wanted to see this because I just like these kind of movies where it's like uh, man versus nature type of thing, and it's really short as well, which is a plus point for me. 86 minutes, I was like, this hits the sweet spot. I'm sick fed up of going to movies that are lasting two and a half hours and they feel as if they're just stretching the movie out for the sake of it. I thought, I like the director's previous work. I feel they're quite tight thrillers and I was excited to see this. And it didn't really let me down. It has some spectacular tense moments. Blake Lively is very good as the um, student doctor who is attacked by this shark. It does need some suspension of disbelief in quite a few moments. It doesn't play it as straight as it could do. The shark, for instance, is constantly after her, constantly stalking her, and she's there for a large period of time as well. You kind of think it would move on. There's other actors in the movie as well, but they're just there to be eaten by the shark. There's some nice plot points that I kind of thought were going to happen, but they still surprise me in certain ways. And the director uses technology on screen in a way that I haven't really seen before. Um, she's got a watch and she has a phone and when she's using the phone it pops up on the screen which we've seen the watch pops up on the screen but it's to good effect as well at one point she's timing the shark how long it takes it to get from A to B and she knows that she has a set period of time so it's got the clock up on the screen and it just adds so much tension to the movie without ever showing the shark there it just shows you this time and it's counting down and you know she has to get to a certain point it works the tension really well and the movie had me wringing my hands a few times wondering what was going to happen. You ultimately know the outcome if you're, you go to the movies uh, enough. But you're still worried about what was going to happen and the wound that she gets. She gets attacked at the start and she suffers a wound and it actually looked pretty realistic. She's pretty much trapped on a rock with a seagull which is her only company which allows her to talk to that to get some of the exposition and what she's thinking out which is not the best way, you know, it's always show, don't tell, but it's kind of hard to when she's trapped in a rock and nothing else to do and nobody to talk to. The shark CGI was pretty good, you don't see it much, you see it in small moments here, small moments there, and the movie takes along pretty well, and you're actually wondering how is she going to get out of this, because it's, uh, it's pretty tense, it's, and then it gets to the climax, and the climax is where the movie really lets itself down, it starts to get out of the bounds of realism, as the shark starts by eating metal pretty much to get to her as she's trying to fight it off. And when it actually gets to the climax of the movie, my cinema that I was in actually burst into fits of laughter. It was that unrealistic and just silly. And it kind of wastes the movie almost because you've had this really tense, really realistic what would you do scenario only to just spoil it by changing the last third into say action heroine versus this unstoppable colour. Up until then I was having a great time, but unfortunately the ending really let it down. Blake Lively is really good in the role, the CGI for the shark is pretty good as well and it's got some awesome scenes, but that last third just lets it down. And I'm going to have to give The Shallows two and a half out of five. If it's on Netflix I would suggest that you give it a shot if you've got nothing better to do, but other than that it's not really worth a shot at the cinema, it's not that great a movie. Let me know what you thought of The Shallows in the comments box below and I will see you next time on Man Vs Film. So thanks for watching that video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you notice on screen there is two more videos that you can click and watch at your leisure. There is also a large subscribe button at the bottom of the screen if you would like to subscribe to my channel I will forever be in your debt. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time on Man Vs Film.